Hey everyone, it's Jamie Bass with Team Movers and Shakers. Today is Sunday, March 29th. I'm almost done with my little video challenge that I made for myself. Again, the whole purpose of these videos is to share with you the little things that I do every day to help keep my business moving forward, um, as I like to think of them as income generating activities, things that are going to bring me a bigger paycheck today and tomorrow and this time next year. So, um, like I said, today's Sunday, and one of the things I like to do on Sundays is goal set um, for the week, and I also like to reflect on what I did last week and my goals for last week. So my goals for last week that I had written down were um, to have a successful party on Friday and a successful event and um, to do at least 20 follow-ups. So I, I did my 20 follow-ups, and I mostly followed up with those um, individuals through texting and emailing. So I didn't actually talk to anybody, which is going to be my goal for this week. I need to actually talk to people when I follow up with them, uh, which means calling them or seeing, um, you know, if we can meet up, that type of a thing. Um, so I can actually have a conversation <laughs> instead of just a blank message in cyberspace. Uh, they're usually more effective when you can do that. So um, anyway, so I did my 20 follow-ups. Um, I did have a successful party. It wasn't as high in sales as I wanted it to be, um, but a lot of people already had their warmers. It was just mostly wax. I did sell a lot of Layers products, um, which I was excited about. So um, we got people, a few people hooked on the laundry stuff because it's so awesome. Um, so anyways, uh, my other goal was to book three parties at that party, which I did, so I met that goal. And then the other goal that I had for this past week was to have a successful event on Saturday. I just was adding everything up. I walked away with a little over $200 for a five-hour event. It's not very good money. It was only a $25 event, and um, it didn't, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that that big of an event. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I did a lot of networking and I did book a party. So that was good. Um, so my goals for this week, and this is kind of how I do goals. Again, I do them for the week and then I, I do them for the month. So I like to do a, like a, an immediate focus and then a, a more long-term focus as well. So, um, and one of the things that I do when I goal set is I also put an action plan behind it. So um, I'm not just saying, kind of like I did last week, I want to do 20 follow-ups. This week, I want to do 20 follow-ups, but I need to talk to 20 people when I follow up, um, which means I'm not just leaving voicemails, I'm not just texting, I'm not just emailing or Facebook messaging. I'm actually calling and having a conversation um, with these people. So that's my goal for this coming week. Now this week is kind of strange because it is the bridge between the end of a month and the beginning of the next month. Um, so it's a little awkward. I have a very large event um, on Friday and Saturday of this week. So the majority of my goals for this week are to get prepped and ready for that. One idea that I had is um, I'm thinking that I'm going to be creating a better display at my event. Uh, my warmers and wax are well displayed, but the layers products are, and the Sensi on the Go products are usually just kind of thrown on the table or in a basket. So I'm actually going to be making um, like a spa basket that has, you know, like a little wicker basket with like a towel in it and the shower gel and the body lotion and, and all of that stuff to kind of stage it up along with a little sign. Same thing with the to-go uh, fragrances. I'm going to make a little cardboard cutout of a car, um, or perhaps if I don't have time for that, I'll just bring like a small replica of like a gym bag, and I can put like the scent pack and the travel tin and the scent circle, and that's to display that they're on the go fragrance options. Um, so those are those are my goals really for this week: the 20 follow-ups and to get prepped and ready to go for this this coming uh, weekend's event. And then um, I'm also making some very big goals by the end of the month, and uh, I'm really excited about where this business is taking me professionally and personally, and, um, you know, in just a short, less than two and a half years, it's definitely made a huge impact on my family, and I know that so many of you are um, really wanting it and needing it, and 
all I can say is just just keep at it because um, I've been low, <laughs> very low in this business, um, thinking is it worth it? Is it worth my time? Is it worth this money that I'm spending? Is it worth me missing, you know, this time with my children? And uh, looking back at all the awesome things that it's given me, it is very much worth it. Um, and all of the things that it will give me in the future. So hang in there and have an awesome rest of the weekend. Have an awesome week. Awesome end of the month. And here's to an amazing April. I can't wait to see where you guys are in a month from now. It's an amazing journey. Uh, take care. Bye.